Albert Einstein discovered the principle of relativity. This is going to transform forever our perception of space and time. But what is the principle of relativity about exactly? Let's ask my dad, who is a famous astronaut. First of all, you have to understand that space and time are not separated. Instead, there's something more universal called space-time. The usual way to represent space and time is a set of horizontal slices. Each slice shows the space at a given instant, a plane of simultaneity. Okay, but what about speed? When something is moving, speed can be added and added and added. This works only for matter, but not for light. If light is always constant, it never changes. There is a contradiction between light and matter, but the Dutch physicist Lorentz was able to harmonize them. He found a general law called the Lorentz transformation, which applies to the speed of matter and light. This is the first pillar of Einstein's theory of special relativity. And there's a second pillar, which goes like this. I'm at rest in my house, watching my dad move away in his space shadow. But from his point of view, I'm the one in the new way, who is right. We are both right. There is no difference. The movement is like nothing. Absolute rest does not exist. Motion is relative. It's only a question of point of view. This is my timeline. Everything that happens to me is described as an event. My time flows along my timeline. But I don't really know how to define time because there is no universal time. My dad left Earth for a space mission when I was 20. Dad has his own timeline and it has nothing to do with my timeline. For his 40th birthday, according to my timeline, I sent him a message. His message said he received it on his 41st birthday. I received his answer on his 42nd birthday. What's going on? In order to keep track of time, I used my atomic clock that was adjusted to Dad's atomic clock in his spaceship. Months, seasons, years went by. The world went through a lot of transformation. And one day, finally, Dad came back. Hi, darling. It's late. Got to be in bed by now. Hey, Dad. How old are you again? I'm 45. You little girl, you're 75, remember? When I was traveling in space, my time flowed independently of yours. And if I compare both, Only eight years went by in your timeline, while mine lasted 55 years. Isn't that weird? It's because I was traveling at very high speeds. I wish you could take me with you in a faraway mission and travel even faster, so we could come back earlier than when we left. Alas, we will still be older than we are. This is maybe the only real certainty about time. So we can change the past 
or beat the future? Bummer! I wonder what Einstein would have said about that. Hmm. Well, I never think about the future. It comes soon enough. Hello. <laughs> 